Now while Ashitaka is traveling after talking to Kaya and leaving the village, the day breaks. At the same time, the music becomes very dramatic. And in the background, you see such a beautiful landscape of dawn. I recommend you to check them when you watch Friday Roadshow. It's tremendously beautiful. Because for this scene, Miyazaki deliberately ordered Johi Saishi, the music director and the background artist. Right now, Ashitaka's mind is darkened by despair, anger, and sorrow. Because Ashitaka is polite, he follows the order of leaving the village by saying, yes, I will. But his mind is filled with questions like, why do I have to go through this? I saved the village, I saved the girls. He's so furious and so sad that he is shaking because it is too much to bear. But he didn't want Kaya, who sent him off to the journey, to see his emotions and worry her. That's why when he says, I will always think about you, Kaya, he gives such a bright smile. He's forcing out a smile in that scene. That's why his face looks more cheerful than it really should be. He should be looking sad because it is supposed to be an eternal breakup with his fiance. But because he thought I mustn't look sad, he responds to Kaya who looks sad with a smile that makes him look as if he's happy. And that's the sorrow this young man has. So I want to reward him for his good spirit. I want to give him the best morning he ever had for his departure. So please, please draw a tremendously beautiful landscape for this scene. Mr. Hisaishi, please compose an amazing piece of music for this scene. Because our Ashitaka is that kind of guy. Isn't he a good man? Even when his mind is darkened, he still lives strongly. Don't you want to tell such a boy, in this world there's something beautiful even in the midst of despair? And now, what a great looking scene, what a great spirit by Miyazaki, and what a great response from the musicians and the background artists. But, and the reason why I say but is because such passion or inner feelings don't really get transmitted to the audience. It looks like Ashitaka is saying to Kaya with a happy smile, yeah, thanks, I'll keep thinking about you, and cheerfully runs off on a half-horse, half-looking animal. The music in the background here is titled The Legend of Ashitaka, which Hisaishi wrote with all his might, because such a magnificent piece of music is being played with the beautiful landscape in the background, it somehow looks as if Ashitaka started a journey in a happy mood. Miyazaki meant to say, Despite the dark despair he feels, the world is still beautiful. But it makes the audience think, you're having fun, right? As those ladies point out. And again, it's because of the title that was changed to Princess Mononoke. It sounds like a romance movie title, and the story makes you look at it and think, Ashitaka is moving on from this plain village girl to a better girl. Doesn't that make you excited with this dramatic music in the background? So it's such a simple title. Yeah, someone just wrote in the comment, Miyazaki trusted the audience too much. But the possible reason why this movie made a hit was that when something strange like that happens in the movie, the movie usually bombs. But somehow, Princess Mononoke made a mega hit, and many people went to the theaters again and again. It means that people felt something contradicted. And they watched it many times to confirm what contradicted which must have contributed to the sales of the movie. So for now, just remember that Ashitaka wasn't a prick who toyed with the girl's feeling and gave a precious dagger gifted by her to another woman. Okay, so that's the end of the first half.